25th? Yeah. Beating out Kome and some oh, yeah. other high level players there. And I'm not going to lie, he's definitely one of those kids on the come up. Yeah. With the Duck Hunt, by the way, guys, if you are not familiar uh, with Nintendo, he's an amazing Duck Hunt. And honestly, like every week that he's coming through, it's amazing seeing what he can do with the character. And uh, Nitro as well, rocking the Belmonts. I think I saw him. Um, Hero Ditto uh, Sweet Tea last one of the last few weeks, and um, obviously he, he sticks with the Belmonts, but his uh, hero looking pretty good too. I know he brings him out from time to time as well, so yeah, he's been getting great results as well. This is going to be a really nice, interesting set, um, and yeah, both of these characters, or players, excuse me, coming out week to week and uh, getting great results. Where is Nitro on the PR, by the way? Um, if I'm not mistaken, he's, he's right, somewhere in the top I'm sorry, he's somewhere in the top 15 to 20 level of the yeah, PR. Yeah. Um, in the Inland Empire, he's also PR'd as well. Nintendo, unranked, and I'm not going to lie, I know, Nitro. it's so surprising. Yeah. Definitely, sh probably will be ranked this season, honestly. He's got I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not, with so many players kind of taking a break and a little bit of a hiatus this past summer season, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to get ranked and who's going to be unranked for sure. Yeah. Ooh, super low recovery there. Almost thought he wasn't going to make it back, but um, this matchup seems really interesting with all the projectiles being thrown around here, looking super chaotic, uh, actually. But it actually looks like Duck Hunt doesn't have too much of a hard time getting in and closing the gap uh, between uh, for this matchup. Oh, oh no, fast falling a little too fast there. Not going to get that recovery or grab onto the stage there. Goes for the axe. At this point, I like the fact that he goes for the nair, but he doesn't find the drag down, and he only gives Nintendo the opportunity to go for a tech. Yeah, that was a really nice tech coming out. Pretty clean. Got to get this forward throw. Okay. Oh, no. Unfortunately, oh he wasn't God. able to hit the can away. Going for the down air, too. If he would have gotten that, that would have been beautiful. But, yeah, actually, Nintendo holding his own really well in this matchup. Yeah. And it, kind of what you expect from him, too, because he knows I go for the can right when I'm off stage because it's going to come slowly to Rector. I want him to hold shield so he won't be able to go for those edge guards that he's usually known for. Yeah, but as well, uh, Richter and the Belmont's known for just being so solid with those. Oh, my God. That's actually a true confirm. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> the triple uh, clay pigeon there yeah. at the... Uh, God. What you, percent was he at? What does that start at? I think it's like three patch clay pigeon. It was able to actually get you all the way off the stage, and you can go for a down air confirm. And that actually connects yeah. to like on the ground too uh -huh. as well. Like it just has like this explosive hitbox. But um, yeah, Belmont's being known for like really good edge guarding, all that good stuff. But Nintendo definitely seeming super comfortable with it, and probably because he's also a zoner character as well. So he's familiar oh. with the game. Now, the Axe won't kill into a little bit higher percent. That's kind of one of the things about Axe. So you shouldn't be as scared. You kind of have to respect it still. You will take damage for it, but it won't kill you until certain parts of the stage. That will definitely get rid of Nintendo here with the Holy Water oh. to the Forto. And actually bringing it back, Nitro in the lead now with that. That was super solid. I like actually the uppy. I thought it was a panic uppy at first, but it kind of got him out of that uh, tricky situation there. Yeah. I do like the full way how Nitro's kind of playing around Cam, kind of respecting it and knowing when to hit it also. Holy water. Yeah, with holy water coming out too, it just seems really, like, it's actually revert, like, seeming super difficult for Nintendo to get in with holy water. And then, yeah, like the F tilt being uh, thrown out constantly. Nitro's mm -hmm. definitely not afraid to just keep on throwing that out. Super safe. Not that laggy, not a super committed uh, move. So definitely seeing a big turnaround here for the beginning of the uh, match. Nice, trying to go for a little bit of a fadeaway, hoping to get a whiff punish on Nintendo's approach here, but he misses the mark. Hopefully Nitro able to land here, goes for the fourth throw. He's got Nintendo off stage. <gasps> Nintendo oh not God. with a panic just yet, though. He knows he has to kind of wait it out, see how the axe doesn't yeah. kill just yet. Yeah, you got to be careful with how long you're holding onto the ledge as well. You're not going to have lead invincibility forever. But that's the thing. It's like it, you kind of have to be patient and holding onto the ledge when uh, Richter is throwing out, you know, axe, the cross, all these projectiles. You have to be patient, but then you yeah. don't have that much time. So you have to think fast in these situations. And uh, look at me. Really grim here, oh my god. That, that will not actually kill this yet, yeah. Dash attack is a really good mix up from going after forward toe, especially on the ledge, because it will take your opponent off the stage. Oh my god, good I pressure. Not connect. I, I was going to say, if, at this point, if he's going to be on the platform, Nitro should be looking for an up tilt. The one thing that Nintendo wasn't able to quite figure out yet, but then Nitro kind of had over him, Nitro figured out what projectiles to trade with. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that kind of like changed this whole matchup paradigm. Yeah, he turned but, it around. Mm -hmm. 
Nintendo had Nintendo had all the control with the clay pigeon. He had control with the actual can, with the gunman, and then Nitro figured out, okay, Cross is gonna trade with Can. Forge gonna move Can at this uh, opportunity here. He figured out what to do in this matchup. Yeah. Definitely, for sure. And honestly, now we're going to have to see counter adaptation coming out from uh, Nintendo, and he might even have to slow down his pace a little bit more, maybe do different setups with the cans, and we'll see. This is so interesting to commentate, too, because it's like I'm even learning so much just from watching these two uh, players play. Like stuff that I, you know, like you're saying, like just choosing uh, – more optimal options, I guess. Yeah. It's just such a unique, rare matchup that you never see. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's kind of one of the beautiful things about Super Smash Bros. Right? Is that you can sometimes will never imagine Richter from Castlevania fighting Duck, uh, Duck not Duck from, from Nintendo's past. Yeah. Super strange, but I love it. Right? See how I'm saying? See how I'm talking about that first game, right? Nitro figured out what projectiles to trade with to kind of stop Nintendo from going for those comfortable options here. For Nintendo, it's going to be up to him to figure out What's going to be my way to get in against Nitro now that Nitro has a little bit more control of this game? Ooh, that was really clean. Kind of like the last hit of the play pigeon connected there with his... He was able to opt for the uh, oh. short hop Nair there. Super clean. Thought he was going to go for the downer spike. Ooh, oh. I like that. Wait, what happened? Uh, Nitro? Nitro, Nitro's trying to up He's going to make the recovery, but unfortunately he was facing the wrong direction. And since magnet hands aren't that powerful in this game, Nitro will mm -hmm. lose that stock here. And that's good for Nintendo here because he's looking to make quite the comeback. He's so, starting to slowly set up camp here. He's got the can on the platform. Yeah, I like Just, that. Uh, looking for the back left of the confirm off the can here. Definitely could see why he opted for this counter stick stage, uh, pick stage here. Uh, utilizing that platform a lot is kind of hindering uh, Nitro's uh, jump options, especially uh, in the center of stage where he likes to set up, yeah, right here at the ledge. And so like you said, nice. right, if Nitro feels so comfortable with being center stage here, now that Nintendo's put the stage where he kind of benefits off that, it's really well said because now he's Nitro kind of has to understand, okay, Nintendo feels a little more comfortable here than he was last game. Ooh, going for that smash tag. Definitely, you know, you want, he wants to close out that stock. But you got, he has to be careful because it's over. Oh. Committed moves. That was actually really clean. I like that. That Was uh, was that the clay pigeon into yep. bear, bear there? Super clean. Oh, man. I thought the can was actually going to clank with the axe there. Oof. He's chasing him off the far end here. And, of course, you can mix up where you're throwing the axe in three directions. Ooh, he caught it. What are you going to do with it? No. Nope. Nope. Missed the confirm here. Nitro still able to get the ledge. Oh, my God. He can't land. This looks... I like that. Nintendo looking for a cross up here, but he still shows respect to Nitro, but that forward tilt will get him off the stage and off the stock. Yeah, there's so much lag after you throw out the clay pigeon that it was just not fast enough. He couldn't do anything uh, fast enough after committing to that. Nitro, all he had to do was just F tilt. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> All right. Like that checks the neutral here, tosses out the cross, looking to see how Nintendo's going to respond to it, and they like it. This time, take the chance to not even trade a projectile. Just hops over the can and takes control of the corner. Yeah, even with the counter stage pick as well, we just keep on seeing Vinten uh, Nitro pushing Nintendo off into the corner consistently. What a call out from, from Nitro. That down smash is going to be such a wacky way to turn the eye. But Nitro still surviving the tip of that forward, I'm sorry, the aerial forward air. Ooh, I like that the can pushed uh, uh, the axe out of the way there, kind of giving him a little easier uh, recovery. Can one more time here. Nintendo looking for the setup. But missed the opportunity. Yeah. One, another can here, but he doesn't find the confirm, and Nitro will. Still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Still living. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he was kind of missing a lot of the can setups that we typically see from a Duck Hunt.